Today's soap is brought from some Angora soaps. The name of this one here is High Roller. Uh, some of the scent profile, uh, your nose might pick up the vetiver, pet patchouli, leather, and maybe some floral. Um, it's well blended for my nose. <laughs> I'm not able to pick out anything in particular. Uh, this is Pete sent me this uh, this particular soap, and I thought I'd just keep along the the line, the theme, I guess you might say, as opposed to scent. Uh, I'm going to follow the shape up with uh, some Aramis, and uh, got whipped over here in the uh, Crown Keen Scuttle. That's whipped up with a uh, get some of the soap off of it. There's the brush, Simpson brush, the Duke. It's, it's fairly wet. There's quite a bit of lather in there. There's more than enough for two shaves in there. <laughs> Let's have fun whipping it up this morning. Blade of choice this morning <clears throat> is a uh, Personum. This is the red ones, and it comes in a box like this right here. And the shaver of the day is a Parker 87R. This is a twist open version. Weighs about three ounces and is about three inches. I think the handle's like three inches in length or something like that. In other words, it's one of the shorter ones as opposed to a longer one. And um, this is a little bit easier to do. That's what the blade looks like there on the inside. I like this shaver. Kind of reminds me of a British rocket is what it reminds me of. The handle does for sure. I've already put a hot towel to face this morning. We'll go ahead and get started with the pre shave soap from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Uh, this one here is the Christmas one. Uh, they do have a new one out. It's the uh, uh, one for Valentine's Day. Go ahead and get started here. My nose is giving me fits this morning. Having a hard time breathing. <laughs> Temperatures aren't expected to be get above freezing again today, so it's going to be a good chilly one. So I was pretty sure the scuttle is going to be in order this morning. Have some warm lather. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know how many have had any experience with a uh, Simpson brush. One like here that's called the Duke. I think this, uh, the knot's a 23 millimeter, I think. It works quite well. It's, it's a pretty nice brush. Came by the way of a steam and Sprague. Sent that one to me. <laughs> I know I keep on seeing it from time to time, but you can work up pretty good lather just with the pre-shave soap. Feels pretty nice on the face. And I know that was part of the intent was uh, adding the goodness, I guess you might say, to the shave. All right, let's see how this works for me. So I don't sling it everywhere. My uh, scent strength, when I first got this, um, I would say it's probably about a medium on the scent strength per my nose, and that's per my nose. I would expect that your nose would do a lot better than what mine would do. And I really struggled trying to figure out what aftershave should I use. And uh, in other words, trying to go with a scent that might play well. And this one here very much, I think it probably will, but I, uh, I of course, don't have a matching aftershave, so I was trying to figure out what I was going to do. And it finally just came to me with a, with the name of High Roller. I would just, you know, go right along with that theme and thought Aramis would fit right in with High Roller type theme. And a Simpson brush, you know, and uh, uh, a good looking shaver like this. You know, I just thought it all just kind of worked, worked well together. So I just went with it like that. <laughs> This will be my first time using this soap, and I'll try to remember to put a link down below. I am CDB Chris Bailey. I've done a shave with it.
not this particular soap, I don't think, if I remember right. It was, uh, it wasn't the same barbershop, if I remember right. I really do like this shaver. As it goes for twist open from Parker, what really caught my eye on this one here was just the just the way it looks. It, it just looks really nice. I think they did a good job on this one when it comes to the looks. Now the rest of it just you know falls right into place. It's not. There's a little bit of a blade feel. Nothing over the top. Easy to use. And for me, the handle's not too terribly long. Now, Parker has a number of, uh, of uh, twist to open shavers that are have longer handles. Around four, four and a quarter inches, something like that, if I remember correctly. So if you're looking for a longer handle, they definitely make them. And they're reasonably priced. Most of them anywhere from $28 to $32, somewhere in that price range. They have some new ones that I'd haven't tried just yet, been thinking about it. If I remember right, they're made, uh, they're, I think, stainless steel. I think uh, some of them, like um, satin chrome, uh, the black handled one, and I think uh, rose gold, if I remember right. Been thinking about getting one of those. And if I remember right, the, 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 they carry a, a wee bit of weight. I want to say four ounces, I think. In other words, they're not lightweight. Not that three ounces is that light, which that's how much this one weighs, but four ounces is, that's pretty hefty. Something that might be fun to shave with. It's kind of like, you know, going from one end of the spectrum to the other when you go with a shaver that's about an ounce. To four ounces there's a huge difference in weight and also the in my opinion the shave feel from time to time I mentioned that I struggle with lightweight shavers and uh, it's to me I just find it easier to use one that's got some weight behind it it's the the idea of uh, Using the sharpness of the blade, the weight of the razor to do the work, you're just kind of guiding it along your face. With a lightweight one, to me it requires more technique, more finesse, I guess, if you will. This, These ones, that, like this one here, is just really easy to use. At least for me it is. I do enjoy the heavyweight ones and... And then the lightweight ones are more challenging for me. In my opinion, it keeps you honest. <laughs> you got to have your technique down. Pretty nice soap. First time using it. First time I've lathered it up. And uh, it's working quite well. I was debating whether I should put it in a scuttle or not. Because I know... It seems to change my lather because of the heat. In other words, I need to add more water. And sometimes I don't always have it dialed in just right. And this one here, the lather's all right. I mean, it's not as wet as I prefer it to be, but it's working well. It's rinsing off the razor just fine. Just a few swishes in the water and you can kind of tell it's, it's rinsing off pretty good. So it's not too far off the mark. But the lather is definitely warm. Oh, yeah, speaking of warm lather. I, uh, sometimes, you know, depending on the temperature, hot tap water, or at least my hot tap water, will be okay to use. But here, the past few days, kind of changed the routine up just a bit. And it's quicker this way for me. Is I just use the water from the Keurig. My wife used to drink a lot of coffee. Not so much anymore. She used to drink quite a bit. And of course then, you know, the Keurig, you know, really caught her eye. She decided she wanted to give that a try. And so we got one. 
I prefer the, uh, if I have my choice, I really prefer the old style, the way of a percolator, but I have a drip coffee maker in, uh, but she wanted to try the Keurig, so the Keurig will heat up water really quick. So that's where I've been getting my hot water from here lately. Alright, that was against Green Pass. Now we're going to see how the, um, I think I get most of that off of there. It doesn't, I should say, that that's what it looks like there. So in other words, as it goes for any kind of soap residue, and we're talking about in a sink that's already got soap in it, soap residue is at a minimum, if that's a, a thing for you. In other words, uh, one of the complaints about Paraso is that it leaves a, there's a white powdery substance type stuff. And some soaps do that. They'll leave that on there thicker than others. And this one here is not so much. If that's a, a thing for you. Usually the white powdery stuff, he just wipes right off and it's not that big of a deal. It's the stuff that doesn't wipe off real easy is where it gets to be fun cleaning up a razor, especially a twist open. A three-piece is not that big of a deal to I me. Mean, uh, cleaning up a three-piece, it's easier to get to all the parts and whatnot. With a uh, twist open, I spend more time with a uh, uh, cotton swab trying to clean out all the little nicks and crannies, the little spots that are hard to get to. Face feels pretty good. Doesn't feel dried out. And I think most of the soaps nowadays have definitely reached that point where... It's not necessarily going to dry your face out. It's going to feel somewhat moisturized. Face feels nice and smooth. And I can still smell the scent from time to time, which is amazing considering that <laughs> how much I had to blow my nose this morning. All right. Let's get started with the album block, see how it works out. You can tell I've still got my rubber band, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. Crown King Allen Block. I've had this one for a while. Matter of fact, I think I probably got... It doesn't take very long because uh, these Allen Blocks seem to last forever for me. I've probably got enough Allen Blocks now to last me a good 10 years or so. Which I don't have that many, but considering how long these last, uh, probably one of the uh, cheapest, most inexpensive uh, shave gear you can get. This one here, I think I paid $4.50 for it back in the day, maybe. Uh, packaging has changed since then, as you can tell if you look online. It is a different price, and absolutely no stinging this morning. None. Not one. That's, it, it's kind of sort of typical with this particular razor for me. It works well for me. The weight's just right. I can, like I say, you just guide it across your, across your face. These Persona blades work well for me. I do enjoy using them. I have these red ones. There's the blue ones, and then there's the ones that come in the hunter pack, that you know, in a container. It's a hunter pack that uh, uh say Meg USA, and then I've got the uh, Persona X series. You know, in other words, I've tried all these different varieties, I guess, if you will. And they all work well for me. I, I do enjoy them. It's one, they're one of my favorite razor, so, razor blades. So um, for me, it's just like if you're interested in one, just pick one that you like. <laughs> I do. I will say that, you know, of what I've been getting here lately, uh, the Persona Reds, I do like this kind of labeling. In other words, it's got a bit of, um, I guess you might say, what I would consider pride in the blade. It's just not a plain wrapper. Uh, it, I understand this is probably a bit of a cost, but it, it to me it just adds a little bit more to the shave when it comes to the visual effects. All right, now we're gonna. Oh, I now I put a link down below to this, and uh, when I was looking, uh, I got we picked this up at Walmart. It was on sale for twenty five dollars. So the prices, of course, what's going on today is uh, somewhat different. 
and this was on sale. So in other words, this wasn't the everyday low price. But uh, I did notice that the aftershave comes in different sizes. So in other words, the link I have down below is um, the uh, thing is a 4.1 ounce variety. And uh, this is, smells awesome. Uh, I think I remember seeing one that goes high as eight ounces, which is like huge. Um, this is the 4.1. There we go. Like I say, picked this up on sale a while back, $25. Just great buy. Man, this is a great scent. Just awesome. Like I say, kind of goes along with the high roller theme. <laughs> I thought that was a great name. Anyway, I had a great shave. Hope I buy everybody staying warm, stay safe, healthy, and smooth shaves to you.